Hello, and welcome back to another recording session for Hollow Knight. Picking up on the adventures of our protagonist, it has been a couple weeks since I recorded the last set of episodes. I originally intended to do the recordings a bit closer together, but I've been busy working on some other stuff and playing a lot of Monster Hunter. But we're going to jump back in and keep proceeding through the game here. When we last left off, we got our feet wet in Fog Canyon a little bit. And one thing I talked about doing at the end of the last session was working on getting some more exploration in the fungal wastes first before we do that. Since we're here, I think that's a good idea. I'm right on the border of the zone, so it shouldn't take long to run through some of the unexplored areas of the wastes and see if we get anything worthwhile. Just head up and to the right. And I'll check out that area directly down and towards the left in the next screen. We're keeping an eye on our stores of Geo. The intention of potentially being able to get the light charm at some point. That's going to allow us to explore the dark areas and a bunch of the zones that we passed through that we haven't been able to get at so far. I'll be doing my best to accumulate money and not lose it doing anything dumb. And it's also not a bad opportunity to test out our new charge abilities when we can. I think they may come in handy more for bosses and more difficult encounters than just the regular enemies, but we'll see. Overall, it looks like the strike range on the neutral input one hits around the character pretty pretty well and does a pretty significant amount of damage. Alright. I guess we haven't been through here yet, or at least not all the way. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what this section has to offer. It's unmapped, so that means we haven't come through here so far. Oh, there's a grub. down there. I guess I can see what's on the other side. Ah. Up there and to the right before I move on to the next screen. Nothing. Straight pit. All right. Using our new power dash ability, we can get through sections like that relatively easily. Spore shroom. Okay, new charm. That's good. Composed of living fungal matter, scatters spores when exposed to soul. When focusing soul, emit a spore cloud that slowly damages enemies. I wonder if that's a persistent effect whenever I'm charging with A or circle. Check that out later, I guess. All 
Alright, that was a worthwhile trip. As we proceed through the game, I do want to try and collect every single charm. When we get towards the actual end game for Hollow Knight, that's probably going to require me to look at some sort of guide to fill in. I'll have to figure out how I want to do that. Should do it for this section. I guess we can head all the way to the right towards the rocket ship altar, loop around the bottom, and check out the Mantis Village. I think there was some inaccessible stuff there that we couldn't get to before. Straight through, and we'll circle around the bottom and to the right, or left. One screen over to the left. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here since I don't have a means of traveling vertically. That shortcut may be something I have to ex explore later. But in this area, we can still drop down. Continue exploring the Mantis Village and see if there's anything else here. place is dangerous. I think I completely avoided this lower section. Yeah, this combination of platforming spots is not something I explored last time. I think I just completely passed over that drop. There's some tricky jumps in here, though. I'll bet this particular area is meant to test out your proficiency with the Mantis Claw wall grab ability you pick up in the immediate area. But there might be something good down here. guys it's a fairly large zone I wonder if there's a boss down here that looks like it could be a boss fight. Well. Mantis Lords. Oh boy.
They are fast. It's a good opportunity to test out my new abilities, I suppose. needs to heal. I guess waiting for the projectile to pass overhead is a good opportunity to heal. Alright, that's one. Oh, now we got two. Alright. Might be able to get two at once with the Cyclone Slash. Ow. Nope. There is not going to be much of a chance to heal there. I think I should probably make my way down to that lower right bench and save there. I guess I should, I should do that. Otherwise I'm going to have to hoof it all the way from the station every time I die. And I'm fairly certain I'm going to die more than once in that boss fight. I will make my way down there. I go up here already? Oh, I don't think I came over here. No, because there's a fragment there I didn't get. Right. Another mask shard for health. I will save back at the bench again. I'm going to need to be careful and make it to the bench and then over to the Mantis Village to where my souls are, all without dying and losing around 1,500 Geo this time. <laughs> 